Are you tired of losing documents inside of chaos? Well, my friend, today we're going to organize that chaos because in this video, we're going to get your model-driven app integrated with SharePoint for seamless document management. If you're thinking what on earth is a model-driven application, I recommend watching a previous video about creating one. But in this video, we're going to start from the fact that you already have a model-driven application. All right, let's jump right in. To get started, we need to connect SharePoint to your model-driven app. And don't worry, this won't take very long. Nice. First things first, head over to the advanced settings from the application. You are going to click on the settings and then select the advanced settings. Note that we are currently working from the new settings experience interface. It's also possible that you will be set to the old experience, but then you can just search for the same terms and you'll get there as well. Now on the left hand menu, scroll down and search for document management settings. And we're going to click on this and here we can find the document management settings. This will bring you to a screen where you will be able to select out of all of the entities inside of the environment. And in our scenario, we want to enable the document management for the account entity. So we're going to select the account entity. And in this SharePoint site section, you are able to specify in which SharePoint site you want to store the documents. And for our scenario, this will be a SharePoint site called YouTube example. So with this settings, we are going to create a section inside of the YouTube example SharePoint site where we are going to store all of the documents stored within the account entity. And now we're going to hit next. And now we are able to specify how we want to have the folder structure. And when we're going to select based on entity, this will be the structure, how it will be displayed inside of our SharePoint list. So that's what we're going to go for in this example. And we're going to hit next. Now that we have connected our SharePoint site to our model-driven application in the form of the entity connection, we are going to add it to our form. So we're actually able to see the SharePoint library from inside of our application. So we're going to head over to the form of the entity that we're working with. And in our scenario, this is the account entity. So we're going to go to tables. We are going to search for account. We're going to select the correct entity. We're going to head over to forms and we're going to select our main form because that's the one that we're using. Let's start with adding a new column and we are going to name this column documents. And the next thing that we want to add is a subgrid to display our documents. And we only want to show the related documents from this record. And we're going to search for the table documents regarding and we're just going to select all SharePoint documents because it's already only showing the related documents because we've enabled show related records. And we're going to hit done. We are going to clean this up a little bit. So I'll be right back. And now we are going to hit save and publish. Now that our form has been saved and published, it's time to head over to our application and see if our new tab is already available. So we're going to go back to our application and refresh the page. And as you can see, our new document tab is available inside of our application. So we are now going to add a document and see whether it already affects SharePoint. And we're going to add a Word document. So our document is created from a record inside of our application and it's available within the document tab of this application. And where we're going to head over to SharePoint and inside of SharePoint, you can see that it automatically created a new map, a new folder within the SharePoint site with the name of our record and the ID of our record. And when we're going to open this folder, we are able to see our created document from inside SharePoint. So this is an easy way to store documents that are created from within an application. And in this scenario, a model-driven application. So when you create a new record inside of the model-driven application and you upload a document to that record, it will automatically create a folder on your SharePoint site. And this will make it way more easy to structure your documents. And you're always able to find documents that are connected to a record, whether it's directly from your model-driven application or it's from SharePoint. If you enjoyed this tutorial and want more tips on turning chaos into organization, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any more on this Power Platform magic. And remember, work smarter, not harder.